get a quick shot of Elfie McElpherson, who is our fourth host. Doesn't say much. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, Elfie, Elfie McElpherson. McElpherson. So all thanks to you guys. You guys helped us name He's so cute. our elf in the spirit of the holidays. Oh. And you I do. had a chance to go down to, where was it exactly? The Red Rabbit. Okay. It is, is a local bar? craft cocktail location and restaurant, no. but they have this incredible month-long party that's happening. Mm -hmm. It is a Christmas pop-up bar. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Ten amazing cocktails. They're mm -hmm. specialty crafts going from their twist on eggnog <laughs> to their twist. Oh, here's the B-roll like, of it. We're here in the video. I was just there the other day. That's very they cool. They have a twist on the Cosmopolitan that has like a cranberry sauce yes, in it. Cosmo. It's so rich. But, but tell us where this derives from, which so I think is the coolest part to, again, is. showcase that Sacramento is where it's at. Yes, it came from a concept out of New York that started in 2014. Yeah. It was from the Miracle at Mace, which became the Miracle on 9th Street. Oh. Yes, so the owners of that establishment decided to expand the brand to 50 cities worldwide. Mm -hmm. and selected Sacramento as one of those cities, which That's is huge cool. for us. Mm -hmm. The closest city that has it, San Francisco, yes. LA, and then San Diego. Mm -hmm. But the best part, wow. they picked the Red Rabbit because the owners of the Miracle on 9th Street have a bar called the Dead Rabbit. And people would go in all the time saying, hey, do you have any affiliation with the Red Rabbit in Sacramento? Oh. And they were like, no, looked into the Red Rabbit, were so impressed with the quality of their drinks and the caliber of their wow. kitchen mm -hmm. that they reached out to them to host this pop-up. Because we're That's all about awesome. those craft drinks, farm oh, to fork. It's yes. like, this is where this is why it's exciting and an exciting time for people like you and I who it recently is. moved here mm -hmm. to be up here. And you've been here for a couple of years, so you were ahead of the curve. Did you sense yeah. something about Sacramento or is it just where the job was at? Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, did you, you have like, the oh, end. hey, because you're a SoCal boy too, why come up? Everyone in Sacramento, do not be offended when I say this. Uh -oh. I did not know that much about Sacramento before I moved here. No, so I, kid does. I, I didn't either. stopped here to get gas a couple times on the Stop. way to the Bay Area or to Tahoe. Tahoe. And yeah. that's a snobby thing to say. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying it because I'm being real about this. When you're in this area and you live here, you have to understand that everybody that doesn't understand Sacramento has it wrong. This place is vibrant. It is mm -hmm. awesome. It's happening. It's a big, small town. I make friends all the time here, and it's really one of the shining jewels, not only of California, but of the whole country. It's yep. really That's amazing. That's why I'm here. The content that I produce is to shine a light on what's cool and happening in Sacramento yeah. so that people are excited to go out, meet new people, try mm -hmm. new restaurants. So if you guys, across the Sacramento area. Yes, Manteca and all. Know <laughs> of any cool places, great restaurants, and great people that are doing amazing things, send me an email, tweet at us. Yes. At Adian Till, at Megan Tellis, Rob Carl Mark. I got them all right. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. Yes. But that's it. We just want to know what makes this such a great place to live, work, and play. Mm -hmm. I love that. Thank See? You. Yes, lifestyle. High five here. All yeah. right, everyone. So